Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Luke, and welcome to Ruth Farms. Today, we have my Duramax here with my 24-foot gooseneck. We got a bush hog for a skid steer, and this is our forks. We're going to load the skid steer up here, and we're going back to the uh, new hay ground we picked up. We're going to keep clearing it off. So let's get loaded up and head over that way. As y'all saw, we got the skid steer loaded up. I went ahead and greased it. Um, I got to get her strapped down until so we got our forks. Got our uh, bush hog here. Got my bucket here. Coleman's gonna bring his bucket. Uh, my stump grapple's already there, and he's got to bring the uh, post puller. But we're gonna head on over to the farm once I get her ready to go and get to work. Right, you guys, so we're here to the farm. You can see around me. I just got my skid steer over here unloaded. Uh, got my, my uh, tooth bucket on it. I want to try something here. Hoping this is gonna work. So if y'all can tell, we've got these big patches here that are brown this used to be like big old tall like 10 foot 15 foot tall pop mounds of briars so we come in here with the with the tractor with bush hog and mowed them backwards till we got what you can see now um and what it is it's just really thick like under brush now it's you know probably two or three inches thick of briary mesh so we're gonna come in here with the direct grain drill and drill this whole place and fescue and grass, or grass, uh, fescue and like either wheat or oats here probably this weekend maybe. Um, but I'm worried for one that all the briar seeds are still in this as well as I'm not, I'm worried that the drill won't get through it enough. And then, you know, it's probably not gonna come up that great through this jungle of mess. So what I'm thinking we can do and what I just tried is uh, I'm just taking back drag this uh, field here, or these little patches like this, as y'all can see, now we're down to mostly dirt here. No pr no problem at all planting through this. And you can see the mound we got here just from this little area. I'm thinking pile them up in a pile like this, and then I'm gonna take and burn it and see what'll burn and what won't burn. And then we'll be able to get rid of this. It's wet enough out here now. I'm not worried about fire getting out or anything. And we're in the middle of a green luscious field but I'm gonna drag, back drag it all the way down just like this. And then we're gonna light it on fire and see if we can burn some of this brush up. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna tilt my bucket almost vertical. This way the teeth will let any kind of dirt hopefully fall through. and leaving that on the field. You have to try to plant for it. So we have a pretty good size uh, pile of uh, briars here now. I'd say it's five, five and a half foot tall, probably that much wide. As you can tell, we got the ground here cleaned up pretty well. There shouldn't be no chance of fire spreading or anything if we do. My skister's here and Coma's pulling in with his now. There's a little bit of dirt involved in there and then a little bit of the briars are a little damp. So this may or may not burn, but we're gonna try it and just see what happens. If it doesn't work, we're gonna take my grapple grab it and take it out there to the edge of the woods and get rid of this. That way we have a good seabed for planting some grass. 
I think Coleman needs to get a little bigger truck. <laughs> we got a little diesel fuel here. This is not gasoline. See if this junk's gonna burn. It won't burn, I doubt. She is rolling, you guys. Sucker's already hot. Not gonna lie to you guys, I did not expect that to burn that well. It is burning and it is hot. Woo, that's hot. All right, so Coleman over here, he's in his Bobcat 873. He's got our post tree puller. See if I can get y'all a little, show you how it works. So it's got two jaws there that squeeze together. About plant the trees in too. Pulls them right out of the ground. Off my flip of a button. Oh yeah. That's the way to go, y'all. They just take some piles from here in a pile, and then I'll take my grapple and pick them up when we're done. I'm gonna go down here and do the rest of these little briar patches and get them burning. As y'all can tell, this one here, she's about gone. And yeah, as y'all can tell, we got just a little bit of fire going here, but it'll go out here in a minute. Once it gets this green grass, and if it don't, I'll run over it with here and put it out. There's zero chance of getting anything getting out over here there's zero chance there's zero chance there's zero chance y'all can see down here we got fire going we got fire going over here let's go get her I'm gonna get right through my DJI Mavic Mini 2 up, get a little shots. Y'all can see this fire's starting to burn down now. That one there's about gone. Uh, we got plenty more over here to go, about probably 10 more piles. I'm gonna let some of them burn down as we go though. That way I'm not trying to fight a bunch of different fires at one time. All we need to do is one to get out somehow. getting a bush hog hooked up here. You got a bush hog, a little bit of this briars up here. Earlier. 
He's gonna bush hog some of his briar so they can get in here with the uh, hose puller. This is our bush hog, it's an 80 inch bush hog for a skid steer. These things are beasts. Flying the drone here. I'm gonna try to get a couple little cool footages, but I probably should uh, get the uh, fire that's impeding on the skid steer here. So at this point, I realized that the wind has shifted directions and the fire has started coming towards me pretty quickly. Um, so I'll hop in the skid steer here and try to like beat out, and, like smear out the fire. Uh, I, well, I had been kind of uh, doing some drone footage of Coleman over there with the bush hog and whatnot, trying to get some decent footage. Um, I was not planning for this to happen in, in any sort of way. This was very scary. And it wasn't until I actually finished everything that I, I realized that you know my GoPro was still on my chest and it was still running. And I was like, well, I guess if nothing else out of all this scare, at least I got some decent footage. But as y'all can see here, the wind is blowing really hard towards my truck. It had been blowing in the complete opposite direction the entire day. Uh, and, you know, it just allowed that fire to really take off quick. And it's quite scary, to be honest with you. So for those of you who aren't exactly sure what I'm doing here, I'm just taking the skid steer and like scooting the bucket on the ground, trying to put the fire out. And it was in this moment that I knew that I had f***ed up big time. Not sure what had happened to the skid steer. I was going to open the back door up just to make sure that the back of the motor wasn't on fire or, or something. Uh, my skid steer just all of a sudden stopped on me. No notion that it was going to or anything. Uh, fire was getting a little close to my truck, so I hopped in it to pull it out of the way here so that it doesn't catch on fire. I do have insurance on everything, but I really did not want to have to use it. Running back to the skid steer, you can tell the ground all the way around the skid steer is on fire, which was very, very scary. Thankfully, it cranked up just enough that I could back it kind of out of the fire. It would not crank up again. I originally thought maybe a fuel line had burned into, but, but at this point I was like, it's got to be something with an air filter or something like that because there's no reason for it to crank back up and then cut back off again. So I take off running, Coleman's in the far corner of the field with the bush hog, bush hog and some brush here. So I'm trying to get him to come to take care of the fire so it doesn't spread any further while I'm trying to get my skid steer you know, operational again, make sure it doesn't burn to burn to the ground. I opened the door up here and I could somewhat hear the air filter sizzling. Like a, a little bit of a crispy going on in there. So I pull it out here. You can't hardly see it. My camera has fell down at this point, but I chunked the air filters out the back. Burnt my fingers a little bit in the process but this kiss here does regain consciousness and lets me pull it out of the way out of the way of the fire and out of Coleman's way so he can finish putting fire out so the fire was pretty well under control and then all of a sudden the wind started blowing towards us and then it got ugly pretty quick Alright guys, so during this whole little um, debacle, if you will, here, um, I have a headset that I keep on that I can like, put in and listen to people when they call or whatever. Well, the whole time I could feel it vibrating, which meant my DJI uh, drone, which I had been flying prior to this, had um, was, was going dead. The battery was going dead. And its home point was actually there where the fire was. So. All I could think about was like getting there and getting it down before it caught on fire. Holy crap, you guys. Whew, just about lost my skid steer. Fire got away from me and somehow got in my filter. Cut the machine off. Somehow it sucked it up in there and it didn't even get in my, it didn't get into the machine. As y'all can see, it's on fire there. Throw it here in the bucket. Holy crap. God, I thought I was about to lose my skid steer, y'all. Burnt my fingers. Somehow it got in my air filter. I felt my skid steer die and I thought, oh shoot. 
Oh, for sure I was gonna lose it. When it got in that air filter, it killed my motor just dead as fire. I'm gonna pull my truck up out of the way here. I've got insurance on my skid steer, but I'd rather not use it. Holy moly. Thank God Coleman was here, and thank God I can get my skid steer running and get it out of the way. I don't think it's actually got fire in it, but it's just the filter's got so hot, I guess. Caught on fire. See it there, my, my filter is on fire. It got in there and got burnt, burning that filter. Let it burn. I don't think there's any fire in the actual motor. But I can tell it's just, it was just the uh, filter. Golly. That's scary. We're gonna get this fire put out. We're here beating the fire out. I'm not too worried about the fire, but my skid steer cut off on me there. And uh, what happened, it soaked up fire. Somehow it got fire into the air filter. And when it did that, it cut my skid steer off just as dead as crap. The only way I could get it run, I yanked the air filter out. Burnt my fingertips. Thank God, comments here. I'm gonna bring the disc over next damn time. God, I didn't give out, y'all. <coughs> this is rough. My air filter over here on fire. If it had been in there much longer, my skid steer would be gone. I'm just letting it sit here, see, make sure there ain't no fire in it. If it is, hopefully it'll put it out. Holy shoot. <sighs> Don't know how in the crap it got fire into the air filter and nowhere else, but by gosh, it did it. Thomas back got her out here. Whew. You guys, there's just a little bit of where some stuff been hot down in here. Just a little bit down there, but <clears throat> how in the crap? <clears throat> Fire got all the way up into here and nowhere else. <coughs> That's beyond me. <clears throat> well, y'all, thankfully, thankfully nothing is on fire yet. Seen a few little embers in here I poured out with my drink. Somehow the fire got all the way up and there's shields that go over this, over the top and everything. Somehow it got into the air filter. <coughs> it took off, wind took off this way and it just shot. I was trying to put it out. The air filter caught on fire. And that put the motor out. Yanked, it, <coughs> yanked out the air filter. Burnt my fingers a little bit. But I got the skid steer out of the way. So we didn't have to call Farm, farm Bureau today. <coughs> Phew. As y'all can tell here, it burnt a piece of my air filter held in there. I'm gonna dump it here in the bucket. Somehow, some way, it sucked up junk in there. Maybe a mouse had built a nest in there or what? But that's what it was. Very scary, y'all. Very scary. I always keep your fire extinguisher handy, and I guess you really ought to keep a disc anytime you're doing anything, but we didn't really think it's what as the ground was. I mean, you can tell the ground's wet. It's just mud on top, but my gosh, she took off. Very blessed nothing caught on fire and burnt down. That's all I can say. So luckily, Coleman had a couple filters extra for his bobcat. They're the same thing, so we got this thing back on here. I'm going to have to get my new air filter house, I think it burnt its lip up in here. Evidently, a rat's nest, a rat or something had got in here, or just somehow got packed with leaves in here. And somehow it sucked an ember in there, and then that's what caught on fire, caught the air filter on fire. We go around here to the bucket and look at it. By the time I got it ripped out, I'd throw it in here, that way if it caught on fire it wouldn't hurt none, but I mean, it has entirely burnt that air filter up. And it started burning the inner filter up too. Mm. 
dad's up here we're cutting this old electric high tensile wire out just run this divider fence up through here we're gonna pull all that out and i'll bush hog it all down good and then like y'all can tell right here see how thick these old briars and stuff are they're just real thick i'll just take and get this up a pile and we'll burn it same way we did over there we'll just be a little more careful this time make sure we don't get the tractor or the skister involved This old wire goes all the way across the field here. Get this old fence wire out of here so we don't hit it with bush hog and then so later on we don't hit it with a hay mower. Stuff like this lays a hurting on a hay mower or a bush hog. Once it gets wrapped up in it, makes a mess. As I'm sure most of y'all know. Get all our post, fence posts up. Put here in the skister. All the wire. Don't want that stuff in the hay mower or the bush hog. Coleman's done a good job. Just about got all them trees pulled. You can see this pile here and over there. I'm gonna go in now with bush hog and bush hog what little bits left. And he can get my bucket or whatever. And we're just gonna take the bunches and just pile them on the edge of a, edge of the tree line somewhere. But as you can see, we got this big old pile burn up and this pile burn up. And this is where the skits are about caught on fire. And we've got the uh, fence line here cleared out now. So I'm gonna go through there and bush hog all of it. And then we got several of the big old briar patches back here we got to burn. So that's what we're gonna do next. Hell y'all found the wire. Thought we got it all out, but of course there's always gonna be a piece that you don't get. is not satisfying I don't know what is you couldn't even see the pond before you know, as you can tell it was a lot worse over here but now we can see it good here not that we're gonna need a pond but oh well we're getting her piled up y'all so this is you know the bed before had just 
a lot of these big thick briars, big stems like this. What we're doing, we just took and back dragged it all into a pile, and we're just burning it. Where we got in trouble earlier was I had a little bit of fire from the first fire in my bucket, and I didn't know it. So when I went over here to start back dragging, the fire fell out and got into the uh, briars and started fire, which was okay, and I had it managed. But then we had a really strong wind start coming this way, and it just kept pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And that's when I got the fire in my air box and it cut my skid steer off. But we're all back together now, going, got a fire going. Coleman's pushing the pile up back there. We've got lots of little piles, like these little brown spots over here. We're gonna do that to all of them so we don't have as much briar trash and stuff to have to try to plant through. So hopefully this will work. It'll be a lot better than planting through all that thick. It's getting late here. We got another pile or two and we'll be done. But this fire feels good. It's getting a little chilly out here. We're getting her done though. We got a big old perimeter around this one. That dirt. So likelihoods of this getting out and then it's starting to get a little bit dewy. It's starting to do starting to fall to the ground. It's getting a little damper. But it's still burning pretty good. That's hot. Probably gonna be a wrap on this one. We got the biggest majority of the briar patches pushed up. It's probably still got a couple to do. It's got dark on us, we can't see. We're gonna stay here a little while, let the fire die down, die down and make sure there ain't no way nothing can get out. And uh, chances are, we'll probably come back tomorrow. Try to get her finished and maybe by the weekend, try to get a little grass uh, drilled in, sewed in. So we'll see what happens, but it's a hot fire. Luckily, my skid steer is still here. It didn't burn up. Coleman's still here. So, yeah. So, thank y'all for watching. If you like, like us, give us a like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time. Thanks and God bless. There's zero chance of.